take it round for round and uh, they've got a very good weaponry, they've got a SCAR 20 and an all, so they're doing pretty well for money. Nostalgia have been able to scrape them by this round, but I'm pretty sure if they lose this one, it's going to be Eco. And here comes a pop flash, ladies and gentlemen. Mups splashes his uh, teammate in. Nice bit of simple teamwork. You can take that to matchmaking. But Cage of Bai gets one. It's one for one, actually. Make that one for two. Cage of Bai has been playing so well over there on the A site. Hooch has got his entrance onto the CT connector, and that's going to allow his way into A. And now they've got the A bomb site. The bomb's going to go down, and yet another retake. This is what I'm talking about. But this time they're going to be going up against guns. This time they're going to be going up against the numbers disadvantage. Both these factors at once are going to make it really difficult for no sir here. Can Hoocher catch anyone jumping over? That could get really awkward really fast. He's running through the smoke. He's behind them. Can he get both? He will get one and two. Wow. Nicely done. I think they're going to be going towards this A bomb site. Bomb is on the back of uh, a little orange dot on that radar, and the smoke's come out, and the the rotate does need to come in pretty quickly. Cage of Bai is going to get caught out. He goes down. MSE is going to secure the entrance. Actually, there is another CT man rotated in. Oh, Pace cool. gets one. Can he get second? Nearly. By a whisker missing. Getting his second there. Barry's got one in the meantime, and actually, Barry gets another. So that was a really nice hold in the end going to go straight into this B bomb site and they do take out the first frag and Kibakin, well he got one but that was the uh, the only one that he got and uh, a very very good start from no sir they get the bomb down and this is going to be quite a tough retake actually for Nostalgia and the teams at the top are switched around but don't worry about that as uh, actually Mups gets a nice frag on to fly and they're both kind of stuck in this construction area Spiker here He's in a very tough position. He's one versus three. He's going to get knife. I love it. I love it. Which is interesting because they, they've been given a little bit of ground. And actually, they have a man in arch walking round. That's Hayes. What can he do? He's going to be up against an M4. And he actually takes him down. Hoocher drops. And that might allow him to go through to B. Yes, it will. So he's going to go through arch. And his teammates would, would do well to kind of wait for him. But they're not going to. They're going to just push straight in here. There's a mixed fly. Something I haven't really picked up on. They've kind of forced it up. And keep back and gets two. And Cage of Bai drops MSE, but Kibakin with four! Hello! This is big, big, big news from Kibakin. Nostalgia making it pretty difficult. Nice fake plant from Hayes. Wow, nearly gets the one on two from the fake plant. The spiker in the end is gonna is gonna pick it up. They smoked off the site and they sent the men through uh, basically ruins. So they went CT, they left the site to begin with, used the smokes to just allow them a path through, went through ruins and split the site up. So lovely strat. And um, Barry and Mups get one, but Quebec has also got one for himself. And that's bigger news, considering they are on the eco. So, let's see if they can do any more damage. No, sir, a very good opportunity here to pull it back into a, a close game if they do pick up this round. And they've made a good decision coming to this site. Are they going to check this position? Again, they let fly get two frags from the same position as before, as Hoocher did. And that's just, oh, man. Pops to him and pops to no sir for coming back after getting pretty much demolished on uh, on cash. They're bringing it back here and they are on the verge of winning it, ladies and gentlemen. They're versus some pistols and a galley. So that pretty much sums up their chances in a nutshell. Here we go. This must be it now. Spike it. A one on four. Surely not. No. And KOBI is going to take him out. One on one. Berry is somebody that really hasn't been performing. It's a negative thing to pick up on, and no sir are winning anyway, but he's only got like five frags, and the rest of his team have got nearly 20, so Barry, somebody that hasn't been stepped up, it's a chance for redemption here, one-on-one -on -one versus Spiker. If he can get this, then we'll forgive him for not fragging the whole half, and he gets caught off guard there, so at least now he knows where he is, and the Molotov is not going to do what Barry intended and bring him off position. But as I said, he knows where he is now. He's going to push up to Van. He's not actually in Van. He's dancing around the uh, the poles. This is fantastic play from Spiker. <gasps> but Barry's jumping with the M4. Are you joking? Are you having a laugh? That should not happen. It's not cold. Oh, hell, RNGesus. 